Hi guys, and welcome back to another Gab's Cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out videos like this. So welcome back to another Gab's Crypto 101 video and today we're going to talk about moving averages. So, alam ko marami sa inyo ang nag nagtataka kung paano ba gamitin ang moving averages, especially sa inyo mga daily trades or long-term trades. Especially if you're going to look for swing trading position or scalping, this is applicable for any types of trading. So, if you want to know how to set up these indicators, I highly suggest that you should watch out the first video, which is how to set up these technical indicators. So, makita nyo kung paano ko set up ito 20, 50, 100, and 200 moving averages. So, let's dive into this video first. So, right now we have here the moving averages. Yung mga moving averages can give us an idea kung saan ba tayo makuha ng support and somehow our resistances. So in previous video, pinakita ko din sa inyo kung paano ba kinukuha yung support and resistances on a straight line or a linear line. This time, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ba kinukuha yung support and resistances in the moving averages. So right now, for the moving averages, ginagamit ko is 20, 50, 100, and 200. So ang purpose nun is, ito yung nagiging long-term support natin for the Bitcoin price. So for the long term, si 20, yun yung, yun yung ating kinukuha for the short term. 50, yung mid term. 100 is actually the support for a bull market kay Bitcoin. And then the 200 would indicate yun yung pinak last support natin for the Bitcoin price as yun yung follow from the historical data. So, a moving average is yung average niya for the past amount of days. So, kung yari, yung 200 moving average is actually average price of Bitcoin for the past 200 days. So, ito naman yung red line. Ito yung average movement ni Bitcoin for the past 100 days which is yung red line. So, yun yung ibig sabihin no, yun yung average price niya. So ngayon, paano ba siya ginagamit for support and resistances? Ideally, what you should be doing is if we are if the price is below the moving averages, if it's below the moving average, that's a good buy signal. So if it's below, that's a good buy. And if it's above the moving averages, that is a good sell. Ganun lang siya basically. Below, it's a buy. Above, it's a sell. So you need to follow this technical concept lang basically sa mga yun trades. And... If, if nasa below siya, it would, it would mean na pwede ka dong mag-enter ng trade. And you could actually see this in the short term din. Kasi if you're going to look in the short term, especially if scalper ka, look at this. This is a good buy and this is a good sell. Kasi this one is below and this one is above the moving averages. This one is below. This is one is above. So you could set a buy order in here and then isa-sell mo siya above. And you could actually do the same. Pero take note. One indicator alone cannot tell you the whole picture kung maganda mag-buy. So, you need to understand the RSI too, the MACD, and the volume. Pero, yeah, in order to know those indicators, check out the other videos as I will dive deep into those movement para alam nyo kung paano ba ginagamit yung mga technical indicators. So, yeah, basically, that's it. That's how you navigate the moving averages. You could actually try, pwede nyo din siya paglaruan. So, kung yari, you could use, let's say, 100 moving average dito. And, let's say, gusto mo mas mahaba yung trade mo. In that case, what you will see is, ito yung magiging output niya instead of the 20 lang. So, kung nangyari 100, you could say na you could buy below the 100 and then sell when you are above the 100. And then re-enter ka ulit pag below the 100 and then sell when you are above the 100. So, ganun lang siya basically kung paano siya pinaplay out. And pwede, ka din, pwede mo din kasi gamitin si moving averages as a support. So, kung nangyari, nagda-dop yung price. You could actually see these big drops dito sa mga bigger time frames like the daily time frame or the 4 hour time frame. So kay 4 hour time frame naman, isang example dito na maganda is yung 200 moving average. The 200 moving average could actually act as a support for the long term. So makita mo dyan tayo nakakuha ng support. So this would mean na if we are above the 200 moving average, that is bullish. If we are below, that is bearish. So pwede mo din siya gamitin as an idea kung ano ba yung sentiment ng market if it's bullish or bearish other than your usual trades with the moving average. On top of that, you could actually use the moving averages sa mga iba't ibang time frame. So kung yari, you're going to follow for the short term kasi scalper ka. Pwede mo sabihin na we are bullish for the short term kasi sa 1 hour bullish movement siya. Pero sa 4 hour, pwede din siya maging bearish. So just like this, nakita, makikita mo dito na naging bearish tayo dito kahit sa 1 hour time frame naging bullish. Nagdedepende din siya kung anong time frame yung titingnan mo. So tinan mo, for this one, very bullish siya tayo dito sa ating 4 hour time frame pero if you're going to look at the daily time frame hindi pa siya 100% bullish kasi we are still below the 200 moving average in the daily time frame 
So that's how you navigate with the moving averages. You have to look at the different time frames, and if you want to trade, you could buy below the moving averages or you could sell above the moving averages. So that's it. If you find this video informative and useful, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.